disturbing visions of like of the coffins each day. United we stand while they're warring our future away. Planning for the delegation started about six months ago and we left July 19th. Uh, making a stop in London from there on to Tehran. And we were there through the end of the month. Uh, having come back this past Monday, the 31st, the 30th, we had a press conference on the 31st. It was the People's Delegation for Peace, sponsored in part by Virginia Anti War Network, uh, Richmond and Defender, and Campaigns Against Sanctions and Military Interventions in Iran. And how many people in the delegation? There were five of us. Were there any women? Tyler Madison from Richmond, um, she's an environmentalist, uh, she was, uh, accompanied us. So what, did she have to do anything special when she was over there? Well, there's, there's, in some places, yes, she was asked to put on, it was, she had to wear a headscarf at all times. When we went to some of the more sacred sites, she had to wear a, a full veil. Not, she wasn't required to wear a shador. On um, one or two places, there was a separate men, men's entrance and women's entrance. At the prayer, she was with the women, uh, I was with the men. Um, that's you know, partly based on Islamic tenets. So what else do you want, what else do you want to say? Well, I, 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 if, if there's anything, it's to learn our own history as well as world history and how our actions impact others and how we're all affected in this global community. And so the posturing, the militarization of one nation against another, ultimately it's going to be the civilians that pay the price. Uh, there's no such thing as friendly fire. The, the ratcheting up of the war machine, the rattling of sabers, and all it's going to lead to is more death and destruction. And if anything, it was the delegation was about dialogue and avoiding that the, you know, the the clash that some would have us, you know, end up in. So they had said something about just bringing it back and telling people. Absolutely, sharing the you know the concerns the use of chemical weapons by Hussein, the isolation of the country of Iran um, because of powers such as the U.S. and what that meant and how it was impacting that and that their people too and their sovereign nation, their signatories to the non-nuclear non-proliferation treaty, there's a number of things that it's important, you know, we move beyond the media filters and the political rhetoric to get, enough, get the rest of the picture, the rest of the story and then make an intelligent decision. So how are you going to get the message out there? Just just like this, we're meeting one-on-one, -on -one, meeting in church groups, meeting with uh, individuals, um, pol politicians, whomever, however, I think, you know, as, as the church says, we'll, we'll not be silent, you know, be, be, because by remaining silent, become complicit, you know, there's too much at stake, because if it's, if it's not me, who? And I would challenge everybody else to the same question, if not you. What? When? So if somebody wants you to come and speak, would they contact Vaughn? Uh, Any certainly, or they network, contact or? me through the Kent Norfolk Catholic Worker. Um, my email is dissentingsoldier at yahoo.com, D-I-S-S-E-N-T-I-N-G-S-O-L-D-I-E-R at yahoo.com.
will kill for the rat.